Hey everyone, welcome to part three of the Story App Android app development tutorial with Kotlin. So in the last part, we created this navigation draw, and I told you we are going to fix this uh, bug into our application. So we have this uh, title in the black color, so I want to change that. So so I want to make this color white. So to do that, all we have to do is go to Content Main here, and we need to change the theme. So in the theme section, I want to add theme overlay. Okay, so this is the theme that I want to use. So now if I run this application, it should display the title in the white. Okay, as expected. Now let's go ahead and add the event listener on this menu click here. So let's go to main activity. And here we need to implement the navigation view on item selected listener interface so navigation view dot on navigation item selected listener and now what we'll do we will just we will just implement the members that we need click on ok and now inside this we can implement the on event listener so let me return true for now and uh, before that, we also need to add this uh, on event item selected listener to our navigation view. So just here after this, navigation view is the ID of our navigation view from here. Okay, so this is our navigation view. And I want to add the on event item selected listener. So set navigation item selected listener and we'll pass the event from this activity. So this. Okay, now here. What I want to do right now is I want to close the navigation draw whenever the menu item is clicked. So gravity compact dot start. Okay. Now let me run this. Now whenever we click on menu item here, it should close this navigation draw. Okay, like that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and implement the recycler view. So I'm gonna close all of this stuff. We don't need any of this for now. So to implement the recycler view that we have in our content main, what we'll do is we will use the custom view for the item of this recycler view. So I'm going to go ahead and create that first. So let me go here and create the layout resource file and custom item view is the name that I want to give. And now we will design the layout that we need. So let me go to our application here and open the final application that we have. Just check what we have here. So if you see, we have this image view with the round corner and we have this title and the uh, description of our content of this particular story, right? So we'll go ahead and design this. So here we'll start by adding the uh, card view so let me go to the containers here and add the card view this card view is going to contain the constraint view so let me add the constraint view so I'll fix the constraints for the card view make it as zero make it as match parent okay now inside this for our image view what we'll do is we'll add one more card view so let me add that card view okay so this card view for is for our image so what I'll do is I'll add the image view inside that card view now I'm gonna select the sample image okay and what we'll do is we'll make it as mass parent and this image view should contain uh, fill up the all the uh, available space inside this card view so what I'm gonna do is let me fix the constant first I'll add the skill type to fit XY okay like that now in the card view I wanna give some margin like that okay and instead of making wrap content as the height I want to give the fix height for this image and fix width okay and now 
this card view i'm gonna give the corner radius as 8 dp and we should have this round corner card view okay now i will just write so this is our card view for the image now what we'll do we need the title and the content description so i'll also give the id for this image view so card image right now we'll add the text view here for the title of our story let me fix the constraint like that okay make it match constraint i will give the 8 dp of margin let me give 16 dp actually okay So this is our sample story title i want to give the font size as 24 dp for now we'll change that later okay so this is our story title so i'll give the id as car title and finally we need the title uh, text view for the description of our story okay And it's going to have the 18 dp i'll also give the max line so here come to max lines and we'll just make it three okay here let's come back to this constant view and we'll make it as wrap content We'll make it as wrap content for this layout height as well of this card view <coughs> okay now this main card view is going to have 8 dp of margin bottom okay so this is how our card view custom card view is going to look like so we'll inflate this into our recycler view so to do that we need the adapter so i'm gonna create new Cotton class and name is item adapter. Now this item adapter is going to extend the recycler view adapter. So item adapter dot view holder. Okay. Now we need to create this view holder class inside this our item adapter. So this view holder is inner class. Okay. So let me create the view holder into this same item adapter. Okay. And this view holder is also going to extend the recycler view dot view holder. Okay. And here we need to create the constructor. And now let me go ahead and implement the required members. So we need all these on create view holder, on bind view holder, and a get item count. So inside this, we'll implement the required code to display the data from the our xml resources if you remember we have the story title story image and story content and we'll inflate that to our uh, item view here okay i'll go ahead and inflate the custom view that we have just created this view to our item adapter here so i'll create the view class here a view variable and now i can use layout inflator class from the parent dot context and inflate the resources r dot layout dot custom item view and we'll pass the parent and false because we don't want this to attach to our main layout and finally we'll return the view holder that takes the parameter view okay and here we need to return the item count so for now i just want to return the item count as 10 okay and here currently this item editor do not receive any data from the uh, main activity wherever this item is called so we need to make this item adapter receive the few data so there are three type of data that we want to send from the main activity when we call this adapter that is story content story image and story title okay so this item adapter is going to receive the array of story content array of history image and the array of story title so to make that 
parameter available to our item adapter we need to add the uh, parameter here in this item adapter class so val story titles okay and it's going to be of type array of string right and similarly we'll add the new variable for the story content and that is of type array of string as well and the finally we also want to receive the uh, image urls that is also the uh, array of string so story images and this is also the type of array string right okay so now our item adapter can receive this data and now we will inflate this data to our item view here so this custom item view can receive uh, the image title and the content of our content of our story right so let's go ahead and inflate that now inside this view holder i will go ahead and create the required variables for title content and the image so val card title it is of type text view so text view and now we'll uh, reference to this item title view here so now we will use this item view to reference to this uh, text view here okay so this is the car title so item view dot find view by id r dot id dot card title similarly for the card content it is also of type text view right so text view and similarly item view dot find view by id r dot id card content okay i think i have not given the id for that so let me select this and card content and that should fix this error and now for the image view card image it is of type image view right so image view item view dot find view id r dot id card image right now we can reference this card title card content and card image inside our on bind view holder so that we'll be able to uh, set the received data from main activity to our item view here and it will be displayed in our recycler view so let me go ahead and do that so here to reference to this car title we need to reference through this holder variable we have available here so holder dot car title dot text and since we have received the titles from this story title we will use this story title and pass the position right and for the card content the text we will use the story content dot i'll pass the position and to display the image we need to use the picasso obviously so we'll load the url from the story images position right dot into the target is holder dot card image right so now we can call this item editor in our main activity and we will pass this data and we will display that in our recycler view and we'll see that by running our application but we'll do that in the next part okay so i'll see you in the next part